Richard Krause. Hey. I interviewed you a couple weeks ago in London. Yes. And, uh, and that day you did 70 interviews probably. The day mm -hmm. before that you did all the international press. Mm -hmm. Since then I've seen you in the newspapers and things gold hopping, talking about the movie. Yes. Curious to know... Uh, what question has been asked you the most? Mm -hmm. Yes. And is there a question, is there any area of this movie that hasn't been covered in interviews? Is there, is there one thing that you'd like to say about the movie that hasn't been asked to you? That's a really good question. Um, I think the question I've been asked a lot is how I got into shape for the movie because I think um, physically, you know, I think that seems to be at least from photographs and from people can see from the trailer, which is all they really have at this point, you know, is what people are interested in. Obviously, um, seeing somebody different and in a different light and, you know, that's the question I get. Um, I know all the other characters and the people in the movie get different questions, but um, for me, I think uh, question, the, what I would, I want people to know about the movie is particularly because and I think I've said this but it's really important for me to say it is because I know you know guys are interested in the movie but kids you know it's like I cannot wait when we were at the premiere and there were and all over the world whenever there was a child you know after the movie it was like to see their response was the coolest thing I I uh, screened the movie for my cousins and my family the other day and my cousins um we're like jumping off of the seats in the theater <laughs> at the end of the movie. They're yeah, they're anywhere from you know six years old to fourteen. Right. You know, um, and they were like all you know terrifying their parents. Uh, no, but they were you know jumping off of reasonable heights. But they were jumping <laughs> off things and fighting and and I just it, that's what I felt like when I saw you know Indiana Jones when I was a kid. When I saw these movies that I loved when I was a kid and. That, to me, is what I want people to know and parents to know. Because the question I get often is, like, can I take my kid to this? Like, I don't know. I can't tell if it's going to be, like, too, too dangerous or whatever. And I'm like, this movie was made for kids. This movie was made for family to bring their kids. And um, it is... I can tell everybody now, so I can clear up the, at least in Canada, um, I can clear it up and say, like, yeah, this, this is... You can bring your kids. Right. So, Thanks very much. Yeah. So I have a question for you. I'm, yeah. Um, I know with this film, there's a lot of throwback to you know, the Douglas Fairbank, the mm -hmm. Thief of Baghdad, the Arrow Foot, even a little bit of the Gene Kelly flick, the pirate, mm -hmm. you know, with the gracefulness, the moves. And yes, all the dancing. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But I was curious, aside from the 3D and everything, that kind of physicality, that kind of escapism, do you, did you have discussions with the director about the times right now being really ripe for films like that? Yeah, I mean, I remember him saying, I remember Mike Newell, the director of the film, saying to me um, at the very beginning, he said, you know, we're, we're, we're out to make a movie where people have a good time. That's, that's our intention. You know, I think that was our intention from the beginning, was to have fun when we were making it, and then to have fun, have, to make a fun, lighthearted movie. That is a throwback in a lot of ways, but is modern at the same time. And I think, you know, mixing someone like Jerry Bruckheimer, who's made these, like, massive movies like... Pirates of the Caribbean, Top Gun, I mean, you know, his, all his credits. And then someone like Mike Newell, who I think brings a real sense of story and acting and um, a great pedigree to the movie, you know, I think put these two kind of new world and old world together. And I think that's what's in the movie. You know, it throws back to those great old movies we love. And I think it has incredible action and CGI that's modern and mm -hmm. hasn't been done before. So. Okay, then thank you. Yeah. Yes. You're playing a character who is based on a on a video game character. Mm -hmm. um, he's not meant to be an internal sort of you know inward looking fellow that you've maybe played in the past mm -hmm. quite often. Mm -hmm. Now he's he's got he's big. He's got color. Mm -hmm. Tell me how different it makes the job. Was that your um, like culturally? correct ways. He's like, he's got color. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, to me, I think he's, he's much, the character I play in the movie is much more similar to me than any, any of the characters I've ever played in, in movies Seriously? before. Yeah, and just that I don't really, uh, contrary to popular belief, I guess, uh, or at least to your belief, um, I, I don't really, I like to have a good time and not take myself too seriously, and I really, I really don't like to look inward, it's just boring, and <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's just, I think every, you know, I, I like in making movies to kind of playing a piano, you know, sometimes you're playing, you know, minor chords and different keys, and, you know, sometimes you're playing with, you know, unresolved cadences, you know, and then sometimes you're playing all major chords with, like, like 
resolve cadences all over the place and you know you you're enjoying yourself and it's a great simple melody and you know i love that type of music just as much as i like you know the complicated introverted complicated stuff and this happens to be a whole lot of really great fun major chords for kids and families and you know everyone very nice, nice answer. Nice musical answer. There you go. I was going to sing it at the same time. Okay. But, then I, <laughs> but then I thought, yeah. So you were saying it's great for kids and families. Yes. Also for women, you're being sold as a bit of a sex symbol here during yeah. yeah. promotion. Yeah. So women have been going crazy asking to see your abs and take off your shirt and yada yada. Yes. So what's the craziest thing during promotion that a fan has asked you to do? I did have a theater full of women that we screened the f movie for chanting, take off your shirt which was definitely um flattering and um i said just wait five minutes when you see the movie and i will <laughs> which i do so you know unfortunately not live but definitely in the movie so that was an odd but i also had another a guy um dress up in um like a, a really plastic horrible version of my costume and oh. claim and claim to be the son of das dan which was amazing and, and interview all the actors in the movie which is pretty incredible too um as the son of das dan yeah that was amazing yeah that wasn't what i was expecting no <laughs> okay great thanks um, so just going on that, it, he might have been a fan of the video game because yes. gamers are kind of crazy like that. Yes. Um, are you a little bit nervous as to how people who are fans of the game Prince of Persia are going to view this movie? Do you hope that they like it? Are they because they're tough critics? When yeah, it comes to definitely. Game. You know, I think we, I think we have, um, regardless of the, the critics and what people have to say, I think we have a lot of people who are very excited to see the movie. You know, particularly the gamers because. Uh, it's video game movies have not been successfully adapted you know in the past and i think we have you know gone out of our way to interpret the video game as opposed to copy it which obviously is draw, draws criticism from like the avid gamers who play the game all the time but i think it's the only way to make the movie any movie that's based on a video game good which is take it and do your own interpretation of it and i think we've been really successful with that so i'm just psyched for them to see it because like criticism or not i think they're going to have a great time yeah I think so. richard Krause.